Hello everybody, it's time for one of them 64 player custom battles and before I've done this sort of event before but I didn't use battleships and people are like really those are heavy cruisers or pocket battleships those are not battleships and now that we got oh god I'm scared to pronounce it Hegoland? No it sounds like Legoland, Hegoland a uh, class ship in the game Essentially, we now have battleships in the game. There may not be World War II battleships, but they are battleships. They have got big ass guns. This ship has 305mm guns, which isn't the biggest in the game. You might see more of that later in the video or stream. No, we've got the biggest ones are actually on the Japanese boats, the Haiju, Haiju Haigu class. They have got 356mm cannons. Like in a broadside, I think you can bring 12 of them to bear. It is mental. For now, we'll start with the German class ships. I mean, there's there's no shortage of firepower when it comes to dreadnoughts. I think that's like 10, 15 centimeter guns on one side. Nice. Can't depress them enough to be useful. I don't really think the ship was designed though for fighting waves of PT boats at point blank. Right, lesson learned. Let's do damage control and cancel the repairs. Okay, cool. We're still sort of sinking a little. Just a wee bit. Oh, what the fuck? It's like hit a sea mine. No, 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 no. Have I done a swordfish versus battleship yet? Yep, I did an event like that. I did an English channel of it. Hey, we're still going. Pride of a nation, a beast made of steel. Battleship U boat commence operations. He's invented the battleship submarine. I think the turrets underwater don't work. Oh, look at that. As I start going upwards, they are depth charges. That's why they're hurting like a bitch. Holy shit, the battleship U boat is coming back up again. It's lifting a ship from the depths with it. Ah. Nope, now it's going back down into the depths as calculated. No, we got we still got that ship on our deck. <laughs> we picked up a Japanese ambassador ship. <laughs> I just got jumped by a Soviet boat. For a fucking flex. They are physically boarding me. Hordes of enemy vessels are attempting to board. I think they'll weigh me down as well. I know it's not that much weight, but it's adding up. It's like ants crawling over a wasp, just dragging it down. And the explosion of an enemy torpedo hitting me detonates several friendlies. Like the damage crews cannot catch a break. They're trying their best. But I think we're going back down again. Great, now they're boarding the rear half of the ship. Drowned. <laughs> the ship wasn't even fully underwater and the game just gave up trying to calculate what the fuck was going on. Oh no! How am I going to afford another Helgeland class ship? I know. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Who hasn't heard of Raid Shadow Legends? Everyone knows of Raid. See, even Hans is playing it. Use my links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile or PC. I must be like the only YouTuber to have a 64 day login bonus. Anyway, today we're going to talk about the High Elves. They live in the walled kingdom of Avaria. Their queen is a powerful sorceress and they've been fighting evil since before it was cool. The issue is, it's not always clear whose side they're on. To find out more, you'll need to meet them in the story campaign. Raid recently released its biggest ever update, the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors and a bunch of secret challenge rooms and 12 bosses to take on. 
They also just released another whole bunch of champions, taking them over to 500 in total. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, you will get 50,000 silver, plus 50 gems, plus 1 energy refill, plus 1 clan boss key, plus 5 mystery shards, plus 1 day XP booster, plus 1 free epic champion, Shaman. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Oh my god, that guy just ate a 300, no, what was it? 250 millimeter shell. No, 305 millimeter shell and lived. It went through like the driver window of the main cab and went out the other side. These double torpedoes are very annoying, but I don't think they're as effective as dropping one torpedo and then dropping another. Please don't arm. Oh, it armed. Squish. I don't know if one of my gunners shot that ship or if I just... The weight, the absolute magnitude of force that was going into him squished him. Come on, men. Switch from the 15 centimeter cannons to your melee options. This but a scratch. A humongous amount of ships just died, and I'm assuming it's from artillery or being crushed. Hmm, buoyancy levels are going down again. Cancel regular repairs. No need crew to fix the guns. Focus on fixing buoyancy issues. And these depth charges are going to kill more friendlies than they're going to kill me. Ah, oh, I don't want to focus on fires too. That takes even longer to fix stuff. Depth charges gate. Yes, put holes in the right hand side of me. Yes, this will fix the list. Oh, I have become quite a bit of a firework. What is the list? 50 degrees? 60? Hey, it's kind of writing itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like they went straight into the chimney stacks. <laughs> when you're at such a steep angle that a torpedo in theory can go straight down the smokestack and right into the boilers. <laughs> Two. Three, four, five, six. Yes. I think that might be a magazine detonation. Yes, I'll take them head on. And I don't think these guns can actually press enough to hit that, because we're listing. Yeah, the angle is way too steep. Let's try the other side. Ah, thanks for evening out my list. Nope, didn't even pen the coal bunker. Well, you can pen it, it's just it doesn't really hit anything critical inside. Oh, we're going back into submarine mode, apparently. And again, the pirates are trying to board. <laughs> Can you stop dropping the fucking, the driving onto my deck and then dropping depth charges basically in front of the bridge. 7% buoyancy, come on ship crew, come on. Just hold a little better. Hold! If it drops to zero, it's just game over instantly. Come on, this is recoverable. Come on. I don't think that's penned. Come on, yes, it's going upwards now. 13, 14, 15. Okay, we're rising. Have we got a Soviet boat on our deck? In front of the main guns.
Oh, wait, we're sinking again. Ah! These KDs are not favorable. They're most certainly not favorable for the amount of time and effort it goes into making one of these ships. And when I'm getting swamped like this, it's just very difficult to hit those targets. Uh, can I cancel this repair? Might buy me. I just need a little more time. <sighs> nah, that's game over. Wow, literally jumped over the gun turrets. I've had torpedoes down the chimney stacks. I've had Soviets jump over my front deck, and now I had a Soviet jump over a gun turret. That's BM. <laughs> Iron is on a 50 degree list. Half underwater with 50 different fires all around the ship and half the crew dead. Also iron. This is fine. Yes. Oh, lucky. I mean, he's not that lucky. He's on fire. Huh? One shot. What? That's the first time that's happened to me. <laughs> They're friendly took a torpedo from me and friendly to them, I mean, not friendly to me. One. Two. Right, press eight. And we'll focus on the breaches and such. <sighs> Fine, we'll fix the fire too. But fixing a fire and doing breaches adds a lot of time. I need that buoyancy number high because it seems I die from lack of buoyancy more than I do just taking damage. Any minute now. Come on. Ups you go. Dang it. Stop putting holes in the same side. Hit me on the other side for once. Selfish. It's almost like they want me dead. Yay, two for one. Hmm, yes, the ship is made of holes. It's like a skateboarding game, it's like, nice trick, 400 points. I can still fix this. I still have options. And time to hit some PT boats. Oh, I did not even give them a chance to range find it. it kind of came like a swarm. Secondaries of this boat seem to be concentrated into the front rather than all round gunnery. Oop, still got it. Oh. Uh, no, cancel that. Do that repair. It's like went very 0 to 100 very quickly. And I've still yet to get a kill with the main guns. Drowned. I think that's kind of the first wave. All the torpedoes are dropped almost instantly. I died, but now you fools, you've dropped your torpedoes and now you're defenseless. It was all part of my plan to make you expend your heavy munitions. Now you will perish. I know you guys got machine guns, but good luck penetrating stuff. I mean, yes, you can kill some of the deck crew, but not much of the crew's exposed. Like, even those turrets are armored. There's not much crew vibing on deck. That was a single one. Let's fight this one. Nice. Yes. Now face the firepower of this fully operational Japanese battleship. For the Emperor. Alright, here comes the damage control part of the game. I've got to keep focusing on those outer targets and the inner targets as well. 
Do you see that? Another ship that's just flipped. I think buoyancy is critical versus just fixing modules. I'm steering into it. Oh god, there's so many torpedoes on one side. It's like a Yamato situation now. It's like, I wouldn't mind so much if you rammed me from both sides at once. Hmm. Huh. Don't take that out of context. Like, these torpedoes are going straight into the secondary guns. Wow, we weren't even sunk, and yet the buoyancy was just so low because there were so many holes in the side of the ship. Come on, just need to get a lock onto something. Okay, it wasn't what I was expecting to hit, but a good result. Like there, I aimed at one boat and I hit another boat. Lovely. I'm dropping all torpedoes preemptively. Actually, I kept one on board. Yes. Okay, I took out like five or so PT boats. If they're carrying torpedoes, they definitely put a dent in their firepower. Ah. These depth charges are very painful, and yet this one didn't actually do that much. Mm, those 16 second repairs seemed like a very short period of time, but in video game time, it take forever. I know, Minion, you got someone with a torpedo. Wait, what? I got a kill with a torp? I just fired them off blindly. I wasn't paying attention to the feed. I was just like, oh, I guess the gunner's got another kill. How random. You saw that while wow, chat was got way more brains than I do. I have one last torpedo. Oh, I missed. Because these torpedo tubes are all like preemptively loaded before you leave. Oh, it's right in the nose. Oh, buoyancy. I guess it's like those naval mines just really uh, tear up the boat compared to torpedoes. I just find it curious that like, the Japanese put all the firepower in the front. There's none in the rear. You got some guns that face backwards, but not many. It's all up in the front area. But the cannons are really good that they can fire both sides. Like there is no um like the German ship for example can only bring four guns to bear. The German ship can only bring uh, the German battleship can only bring four guns to bear on each side. Whereas this one can bring all six of its twin guns. Ah, good thing you're putting multiple torpedoes into me from different directions. That does at least decrease decrease the chance of listing in a particular direction. Doesn't mean I'm not suffering from buoyancy going down though. Attack the D point dives. That was a magazine detonation, and those repair times are ludicrous. Activate submarine mode unless it start reversing. Doesn't mean the nose doesn't come down, it just means I don't blast into the water at full speed. Maybe I can use the propeller to help suck the ship back up to the surface. Okay, no one's got any torpedoes at the moment, this is good news. Ah, not enough free crew members for repair, so this is it, game, game over. It seems like the German battleship actually held out damage control wise better than the Japanese ship. Not that I'm surprised, it's just uh, if I had free crew to repair right now, we might actually be able to recover this buoyancy.
Like we're holding. 4%. 4%. 3%. I'm dying. It is just going to die. Look, I mean, it's slightly coming up, but... Nope. Died because of no spare crew. No, no torpedoes. Oh, there's some. Yep. Just don't mind if I do. Just drift. Still got it. Tries to drop a nice spread of torpedoes. Me, mm, no. Dodges them anyway. Because the new boats that are coming in, they're fresh out of spawn carrying torpedoes. And they're the scariest ones. These two in front of me, they've got fresh torps. Hmm, four torpedoes. Ah, look at that buoyancy just go whiz. I'm counting like five holes at least five breaches. Oh, look, a devil pair coming up. Maybe they hit above the water line, knowing how low I am in the water. Miss me. Come on, come on, the fire's gonna be out. Nah. 